Thank you for watching my cover of Dive. After Come As You Are, Dive is my favorite Nirvana song. I have a vivid memory of my parents giving me an incesticide CD as a gift. Me putting the disc into our family CD player and just standing there frozen as I took Dive in for the very first time. Kurt most likely recorded this song with his Epiphone ET270. So when I recently got mine, I knew this had to be the first song I tried to recreate. Based off what I could find in my research, I'm using similar gear to what Kurt might have used when he recorded this song. Let's first break down what gear that could have possibly been, and then I'll show what I'm using and my settings. Dive was recorded at the Smart Sessions in Madison, Wisconsin with Butch Vig. The sessions took place from April 2nd to April 6th, 1990, while Nirvana was on their Bleach North American tour. Kurt most likely used his Epiphone ET270 for the majority, or perhaps even all the songs recorded at these sessions, excluding Polly. It was his main guitar at the time, and possibly the only electric guitar he had with him. If you want to learn more about this guitar's history, and Kurt's usage of his, check out my History of Kurt Cobain's Epiphone ET270 video. It will be linked here and in the video description. I used the same exact guitar model. My ET270 is a 1971 and is completely stock, just as Kurt's was. For pedals, we can confidently say that Kurt used his Boss DS1. I used my 1992 DS1. These are my settings. Now, it gets a little tricky when trying to figure out which amp Kurt used at the Smart Sessions. As I presented in my ET270 history video, I believed that Kurt used a twin reverb based off what Chris has says he remembers from those sessions in this interview. But I was made aware in the comment section of my video that in this Nevermind classic rock album book by Charles Cross, Butch and his assistant are quoted as saying that at the Smart Sessions, Kurt used a Fender Bassman for Lithium and In Bloom, and his son Beta Lead Heads for the rest of the songs. I'm still putting weight into what Chris has recalled, so Kurt could have used any of these three amps on Dive, and we'll probably never know for sure. I'm using my Fender Tone Master Twin Reaper, and these are my settings. I am EQing the guitar track quite a bit in my audio software Pro Tools. Here's what I have going on. First, a channel strip EQ plugin with some dramatic boosts. A second channel strip with some small cuts. An SSL EQ to fine tune specific frequencies. One knob fatter to add another layer of low end. And finally, a one knob brighter to add a layer of sparkly high end. I know that seems like a lot, and trust me, I don't like stacking so many EQ plugins, much less having five going at once. But I feel like that's what it took for me to get close to the sound on Incesticide. I am not Butch Vig and I do not have the level or amount of pro recording equipment he had at Smart Studios, so these plugins are what I ended up relying on. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Nirvana Guitars, and to subscribe and check out my other Nirvana gear videos right here on YouTube.